I recently set up my new M3 MacBook Pro for software engineering and I thought I'd make a video to share some tips for creating a highly productive MacBook setup. Let's get started. Right before installing any software, I like to optimize my default settings. I prefer a simple minimalist setup, so let's start by adjusting the settings in Finder. In Finder preferences, find the label New Finder Windows Show and change it from Recent to desktop or a destination you always want to go to. This gives you faster access to your important files and folders. Next, enable open folders in tab instead of new windows. This one step dramatically improves my Mac experience. Next, under sidebar, I'll customize what appears here. I like to show my root directory, applications and important folders. I rarely use the rest so I just remove them. Next, let's clean up the dock. I'll start by removing all the default apps as I don't use those regularly. Next, go to settings. On that dock, I'll enable auto hide for a distraction free workspace. For maximum screen real estate, I'll also reduce the size of the dock. Wallpapers can enhance the visual appeal and overall experience of my Mac. I prefer clean, minimal and bright designs which I usually download from Unsplash or Pixels. Now with our basic settings configured, let's install essential software to streamline our development workflow. First I'll install Homebrew which makes installing everything much easier. Homebrew is known as the missing package manager for macOS or Linux. It's an essential tool for software installation. It allows us to install, update and manage software packages through the command line, much faster than manual downloads and installations. You can download Homebrew on their website or via the command line. Confirm the successful installation by typing brew in the command line. You'll know it's installed when you see the help commands appear. Our next big installation will be Raycast. After a couple of years of just using the macOS Spotlight, I tried the Raycast and I've never looked back. It's an absolute game changer that supercharges your productivity. Recast allows you further customized settings like replacing the macOS Spotlight with a more powerful one, enabling clipboard history, searching through screenshots and adding custom scripts for frequent tags. The Pro comes with a lot more features like native AI integration, AI chat with various LLMs and AI extension to connect your favorite apps. You can install Recast on Mac with Homebrew. The cask flag here denotes I want to install a graphical interface and not just a command line tool. To set up Recast, install the essential extensions, configure your keyboard shortcuts and enable clipboard history. Setting up the keyboard shortcuts can be tricky since macOS Spotlight uses the same shortcuts by default. You need to disable Spotlight's shortcuts before you can assign command space to Recast if you're on the Mac. Now that you have Raycast installed, you can use it to launch apps and search through your Mac. Raycast comes bundled with a window management tool, but it's not so powerful and seamless, so we replace that with Rectangle. Rectangle is a more powerful open source window management app that makes it easy to organize your workspace. With customizable keyboard shortcuts, you can quickly resize and position windows without touching your mouse or trackpad. Let's install Rectangle with Homebrew. Even with the recent improvements to Windows management in macOS Sonoma, it's still very limited. Rectangle offers more seamless window management with shortcuts and more flexible windows positioning. In some cases, some features and shortcuts might conflict, so you have to disable them in macOS or Rectangle. You can further customize the settings to fit your use case. Just a side note, I've had issues with Rectangle when macOS Stage Manager was in a wood. You might have to disable it to fully experience Rectangle. As your MacBook setup grows, your menu bar can become crowded with app icons. To keep things organized, you will need a menu bar management tool. While hidden bar was my go-to choice previously, it unfortunately doesn't work well with the notch on your MacBook Pro models. I now recommend Ice a lightweight menu bar organizer that's fully compatible with the notch design. Eyes lets you create two sections in your menu bar, one for essential items you always want visible like Wi-Fi and battery and the other for less frequent items that you can reveal when needed. 
you can install ice from either the app store or through homebrew while i don't have strict loyalty to any particular browser i use chrome for about 80 percent of my work i switch to arc firefox or safari when i need to test features or want a different browsing experience i also install the nightly and beta versions to stay current with modern browser features and improvements notion is my go-to tool for organizing my thoughts as one of my longest standing productivity tools i use it daily for planning journaling content creation and youtube script writing i've been particularly impressed with their recent ai features which has helped me capture improve and organize my ideas more efficiently rescue time is another tool i've used for years this focus management app has transformed my productivity by automatically tracking my computer usage and providing detailed insights. My favorite features are the daily focus goals and distraction alerts. Whenever I find myself walking without a clear direction, Rescue Time gently nudges me to pick up a specific task and focus on it. You can also set a focus session and Rescue Time will block access to distracting apps and websites for the focus duration. It costs about $78 per year and I've been using it for about 3 years now. The next tool I always install is Scripts AI. I work remotely and this has been the best app so far for removing background noise. I've used it for over 4 years and it just gets better. They've continued to add new features which has made it a little bit over engineered but I think it still stands there as one of the best tools so far. Feel free to suggest any other one in the comments and I'll try it out. Now let's go over to more engineering focus tools. First is Git which surprisingly doesn't come pre-installed on most operating systems. While there are multiple ways to install Git, I prefer using Homebrew since it's straightforward and reliable. After installation, I always do a quick version check just to make sure everything is working properly. A simple git dash dash version does the trick. The next crucial step in my Git setup process involves configuring my identity and security settings. I always make sure to set up my emails, username, SSH keys, and enable signed commits for extra security. Next, I install all runtimes and libraries I use for my everyday work. Node.js with NVM, Python, Docker for containerization, Bone, TypeScript, PostgreSQL, or other databases I might need. Now for the most important part of this section, my code editor. After using Visual Studio Code for the past 5 years, I switched to Cursor about 5 months ago. I was blown away by how natively integrated the AI features are. Cursor's autocomplete is the most accurate and seamless across all tools I've used. Let me walk you through some essential extensions I use in Cursor. First up is my favorite theme, Sierra Drasna's Night All. While I've experimented with many themes, I always come back to this one. It strikes the perfect balance between simplicity and visual distinction. For fonts, I'm rocking Monaspace Neon Var, GitHub's open source font designed specifically for programming. I previously used Fira Sans and enjoyed it as well. Clear distinctive icons make navigating projects much smoother. I've installed the material icon theme because it provides a comprehensive set of icons for different files and folder types. GitGraph and GitHub pull requests are must haves for version control. GitGraph gives you this beautiful visualization of your branches and commits, while the pull request extension lets you review and manage barrels right from your editor. For UI testing, I really like the Playwright extension. I can quickly run and monitor tests without leaving my code editor. I use .mvault to securely manage environment variables while screen sharing and i really love how simple it is to do highlights is also a game changer for development it lets you mark to do's fix me's and other notes with distinct colors and patterns it makes code maintenance much more organized and ensures important tasks don't slip through the cracks as for bookmarks it's essential when you're working with really large projects you can mark important functions configuration sections or debugging points and jump between them instantly I usually bookmark my main entry points, critical middleware, and frequently accessed utility functions. These extensions have seriously leveled up my coding game. They are not just nice to have, they are essential tools that make development faster, smoother, and honestly more enjoyable. I've said earlier that I actually stick with the Mac OS built-in terminal app. I'm looking to try out Item 2 
or other alternatives with more customizable options. But sometimes, the default tools are perfectly sufficient. This setup has saved me countless hours and made my development a much more enjoyable experience. But remember, the perfect setup is personal. Take what works for me from this guide and adapt it to your own workflow. The key is to automate repetitive tasks and minimize distractions. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Drop a comment with your favorite productivity tool that I might have missed. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.